So I just watched Misty the Book Rats um, resolution video and I was in Vegas a couple of uh, days ago and I actually came up with my own kind of resolutions just kind of thinking of what I wanted to accomplish this year. So I figured I would share them with you because I kind of got reminded of my list um, by watching her video. So um, I, I will share that with you guys and then I'll link her channel down below if you wanted to check her resolutions out. It's kind of inspirational, kind of like YouTubers resolution, I don't know, kind of gets you in the mood for 2013. So I have quite a bit of resolutions and some of them kind of go together, but, um, and some of them are a little bit like you're going to be like, wait, but you said you only want to read 20 books. This is definitely over 20 books. Um, my goal for the last two years was 50 books. And, um, if you guys are followers on Goodreads, I have always been putting 50 books on the little Goodreads goal and I haven't been making them either year. I've gotten close to it, but I haven't quite made it. And a lot of that is because I am in school. Um, the last two semesters, I was in school five days a week, and I worked a good like majority of the work week. I was at work as well. I had like two days off here and there, but I was constantly on the go, constantly studying, constantly working, and it would take me like a semester to finish a book, and I would actually finish it right as the semester ended after finals, so hopefully I'm trying to make it a little bit tameable, a little bit more entertaining for myself. This semester, um, this semester I'm actually doing something that is part of my major. I want to become a librarian, kind of, and community colleges only offer, like, librarian technician, um, degrees. Therefore, you could get all your classes out of the way there and then move on to your master program. So in order to do that, um, I'm taking all my classes right now and all that good stuff, but I'm only going to school two days a week, so that's a little bit better. And I have a little bit more flexible schedule and stuff like that. So anyhow, um, I'm just going to go start with my goals for 2013. Um, my first goal, um, of course, talking about Goodreads and how my goals were 50 books, I actually went down to 20, which I think is pretty attainable for 365 days. Of course, um, right now I feel a little bit unmotivated, but um, that is because I'm reading this big boy, and he is huge. Like, look at this. Um, this is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I want to read his whole entire series this year, so that is one of my goals for 2013. The second goal is to read five classics. Um, I haven't been really good with putting classics into my monthly TBR files, and I have so many classics on my bookshelf that it's almost saddening to see that they're not being read. The next goal is to read the Harry Potter series. Yes, yes, I know. I read the first four, and then I kind of stopped on the fifth one, and I have not finished it, so I do want to reread all of the books that I've read and then finish the series. And then I want to finish the Percy Jackson series. I only have about two books left in it, but I just haven't been motivated to read it whatsoever. I didn't like the third book particularly, and it's just kind of been sitting on my shelf. Like, read me, but uh, I don't really want to. Um, finish the Hunger Games. <laughs> I've read the first one, haven't read Chasing Fire or Catching Fire. Catching Fire or Mockingbird, um, Mocking, Mockingbird, Mocking Jay. Obviously, I can't read nor talk today. Um, next goal is to read Game of Thrones book one, um, and I'm slowly making it through this guy. If you can see that. Slowly making it through. The next goal is to read The Lord of the Rings. Um, starting with the first book, Fellowship of the Rings, I feel if I get the first book out of the way this year, at least, I feel a little bit accomplished. It is a huge book, so. The next goal is to reread five books that are my favorites, and I don't even know if I have five books that are my ultimate favorites. I know for a fact that Catcher in the Rye and To Catch a Mockingbird are definitely going to be rereads, hopefully, this year, so I'm really excited for that. The next goal is to participate in NaNoWriMo, which is from November 1st to November 31st. I found out about this as November was ending, um, so I didn't get to participate this year, but it's a month where you start writing your own novel and you have like little goals that you have to achieve each day and stuff like that. 
and a lot of booktubers have been participating in it, so I did want to kind of go ahead and participate in that. The next thing was participate in Pottermore. I am registered finally. I will probably link my screen name on the bottom. Don't remember it, but um, I do have a screen name, so if you guys want to be my friend on Pottermore, feel free to. Um, the next goal is to make do more book reviews, which I'm really bad at. Like Misty the Book Rat was talking about how um, once you finish a book, you kind of just jump onto the next one, and that's how I'm usually am. I feel kind of incomplete if I'm not reading a book. So instead of going to straight to a new book, I think I'm gonna jot down my notes put up a Goodreads review and try to film more reviews on here. Um, slowly get through the books I have on my bookshelves. I counted my TBR pile is over 400 books that I own. 400 books. Like, that's crazy. Like, who in their right mind has 400 books that they have not read? Me. So I'm slowly going to try... To read all those and not buy any new books but it's really hard um the next thing i want to read two really 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 long books and i'm gonna count this little guy as a really 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 long book because i believe it's over 800 pages so this is gonna be book one of my really 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 long books um these the rest of the goals are kind of nothing related to um, booktubing, but I figured I'd still put them out there. Um, I want to get straight A's in my, all my classes this semester, film one video for YouTube a week, um, whatever it might be, just to be more active on all my networking sites. Um, I'm really active on Facebook. I'm super active on Instagram. I'm not as active on Twitter. I'm not particularly active on Goodreads. I'm a little bit active on Goodreads, and I'm a little bit active on YouTube as well, but I want to be much more active on all those sites. Um, save money! Yeah! And I've been doing okay. I've actually have been trying to save money. It's so I've been doing pretty good. And the last goal of this year is to save up enough to buy a new Nikon camera. I did buy one about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago for Christmas, and it actually broke, so I've been filming on my laptop, which I got for graduation after I graduated high school, so that was about two years ago. Um, but yeah, I want to get a new Nikon camera for photography and stuff like that and get more active in that. Um, hopefully, I could save up enough money for that. So those were my goals for 2013. Let me know what you guys are going to be reading in 2013, what your resolutions are, and what are your goals. Um, I really hate the word resolutions because I feel like if you don't, you like have to do them. But most of the time when you resolve to do something, you don't want to do it. Um, so I, I'm gonna just going to call it goals of 2013. Um, so happy reading, guys, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.